Well, what's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman and today guys We're going to be doing a whole lot of bank fishing That is the only thing that I want to do today is fish from the bank and try to catch myself a nice one And as you can tell I got the golf cart right here rigged up with a bunch of stuff I got five rods five different baits, but I'm primarily just gonna be fishing some kind of jig or bottom bait most of the time I honestly don't know if I'll even pick anything else up just all the really big fish guys recently I've been fishing a lot have just seemed to be coming off a really slow bottom bite I've caught some fish on some crankbaits I've caught some fish on some other moving baits but most of the time it's just like a bunch of schooling bass out there just some small ones like one and two pounders so today I'm really going for that big aggressive bite we're just gonna have to see what happens but hopefully we hook ourselves a nice one but I'm gonna be fishing a few different kinds of key structures. I got this bridge right here, so I'm gonna try those pilings. I also got like a little dock over here. There's a little dock, and then I don't know if you can see behind the dock, but there's a bunch of bushes that basically wrap this entire body of water. So I'm just gonna be slipping into basically any kind of little spot that I can to flip those lay down. So I'm gonna fish this bridge thoroughly, fish some docks, and hopefully I find myself some quality fish. So let's go ahead and grab a rod and get to it. Let's try the bridge right here, see if there's anything up on this thing. There we go, there we go. First fish of the morning. Grabbed that thing and started running left with it. Oh, he came off. <laughs> oh, stay still, bud. Stay still. <laughs> Y'all actually might have been able to see that on the GoPro right there. That fish started running to the left right there, right as I was moving it past that post right there. <laughs> he just sucked it up and just started booking it to the left, cranked back into him, and that's a that's a nice little RG to start today. Just a little something to build up the momentum for hopefully a big old giant today. Let's go ahead and let this pretty little girl go. Oh, feisty. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, guys. Let me see if I can't find anything else up on this bridge. Let's try the other side. Ooh, I'm going to recast that. I want that just to hug these posts a little bit tighter than that, man. You really got to get up on them. These fish are not wanting to move much to pick up these baits. There's one. There's one. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. That seems to be a better one, guys. Two of them right off this bridge. Oh yes, we're getting a little bit better. We're in that two pound range now. Yes, sir. Smoking them on this jig right here, first thing in the morning. You gotta love that, guys. <laughs> oh, that is too much fun. Thank you for munching, bud. And what do you know, guys? We got Gilbert. He's already found his way over here. Just a little bit of fish commotion. And you know he's gonna be over here in a flash. Always is. One Gilbert or another, they're gonna find a way to bother you. So let's go ahead and put this sucker right back in here. Ooh, she's ready to go too. Let's put this jig back in the water because I'm ready to catch a big one. No more fish on that spot. Time to move spots. We're gonna go ahead, take the little golf cart right here, head down this way. Oh, there's a little, there's a little Bambi down there. This is gonna be a challenge, guys. There's two pipes right here that I really want to cast in front of, but I have like nowhere to cast from. So we're just gonna we're just gonna wiggle our way through these trees. See if I can. Oh, yep, already got stuck in the back cast. Alright, here goes nothing. No luck there. There's a fish. <laughs> Skip that right up underneath that tree. And that's fish number three on the day. <laughs> this one might be the best one yet, too. In that two pound range. Very similar in size to the last fish that we caught, actually. But just a nice, healthy bass, man. These fish in here are just so thick. I mean, just really filled out. Every little bit of them, man. Oh, good gracious. He smoked that thing, too. Really stuck in there. Good. <laughs> 
My two favorite ways to catch fish, guys, is either one, top water, which is just so hard to beat, or two, getting a really nice skip cast, like exactly where I want it to be, and just having that thing fall down, fish just picks it up right away, and bloop, you stick it right there in the top of the mouth, and that is just so much fun. That never gets old. It's time to put this pretty girl back in. Let's see if she'll, uh, she'll swim off a little bit more relaxed than the last few fish. There she goes. Ha ha ha. Yes, let's go guys. They're munching the jig. Try this side, see if there's anything over here. This one I can kind of get to without having to skip it. Well, no more luck at that little spot. We're gonna keep on moving, hitting all these little lay downs on this little back path right here. There's a ton of little things I can slip into and get a cast on. So there's no telling which one's gonna have a Karen up underneath it. Let's go find the next one. Fish picked that up. <laughs> now I'm in the trees back here, guys. Rip that sucker right out of that guy's mouth. Come on now, it ain't freaking Christmas. I'm not trying to leave ornaments in the tree. I'm gonna have to like pull this branch down to get this thing. Thankfully, it's a looks like at least a flimsy tree. I can probably pull this whole sucker down. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I can't get that thing out of the tree. I'm gonna snap it. Hopefully, it falls down. I cannot stinking believe that. How the heck did that thing just get stuck up there like 20 feet in the tree? I set that hook pretty good and ripped that thing right out of that fish's mouth, I suppose. But like, it just happened to like perfectly wrap that branch where I couldn't get it. It was just right out of like grabbing distance and I couldn't pull that tree down any farther. Well, I guess I gotta tie another one on. Let me, uh, there we go, jigs. Let's pop into here. And do I have any more of those? I have one more, thank goodness. Shoo! Grab a trailer, let's see what we got going on in here. Which one do I want? We got lots of options. There we go, that's the one I want right there. But why I got my little bag right here, I'm sure some of y'all wonder what these little bags are. They're like really heavy duty Ziploc bags. Instead of like carrying individual bags of soft plastics around like, uh, like this, where they're just in one little pack, I just get super annoyed with like all my baits just being in like a million packs. So I just kind of organize my things in big bulk bags. So I just pour like all my like green trailers that I use in one bag. I just have like a bunch of different random brands in there. Same thing with my Cinco's are all in a bag. Got all my swim baits in a bag. Pretty much just like all the standard creature baits that I use. I got them in a bag just with a bunch of variety of stuff. And that makes my life a lot easier. And these bags are a lot more durable and they actually can breathe a little bit because they're not like fully sealed. There's a little tiny hole if any moisture or anything gets in these things. So I find that a lot better for me personally. So if you want to give that a shot with organizing your soft plastics, I definitely recommend it. Let's go ahead and stick this little sucker on here. Not looks good, looks like everything's holding. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back in there. And if you guys are wondering what knot I use for most of my fishing knots, I use an improved clinch knot, which is just a fisherman's knot uh, with a little bit of a tweak to it to make it a little stronger. Ooh, that was no bass. <laughs> that was definitely a Gilbert. Where, where is he? That is the question. Gilbert. See, there's a Gilbert over here. I don't know where I don't know where that Gilbert went, which is making me a little nervous. Okay. On that note, I'm just going to I'm just going to skirt. I'm just going to skirt. Here we go oh yeah right there came right off oh my goodness popped me right next to the bank <laughs> very big fish sorry you got a little dirty there bud but 
that is a that's something else man he hit literally right on this edge he was just right up in this little brush right here this little tiny little bushes that are kind of just hanging out on the edge thanks for the munch bucko let's go ahead and put you right back on in here there he goes <laughs> Oh, that's funny, man. I was not ready for that. I was literally about to pull my thing out of the water. Like I, my hand was cranking to pull it right back up to recast. And sure enough, I just felt a little tug that didn't feel like a stick. And it was that little guy. Oh, ooh, I got popped again. Another small fish. They're on this thing. There we go, there we go, get up out of there. Get up out of there, get up out of there. Yes, yes. Oh, that is a much better fish. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, man, I love getting munched in the trees. Had to keep that rod high right there so he wouldn't dive back down on me um, because I don't have my boat to go get him if he gets tangled up. But hey, that's a decent little fish right there. I have no complaints. But if y'all are curious as to what these fish are on right here, there's actually a tree that runs that direction. It's like chopped down and it's just hanging out here. And they're just out in these branches, just hanging out and having a good time, waiting for something to swim by. And that is what I'm providing for them. Just a little jig to munch on. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get you right back on in there, buddy. There she goes. Yes. Maybe we can get another one off of this thing. That would be, that'd be something else. Three fish, one tree. I dig it. I dig it. Come out of there for me. Oh, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. Don't tell me I'm about to lose a third jig of the day. Ah, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna see if I can't get a better angle on it by standing on the back of the golf cart. Ooh, big step. Another day, another jig lost to the trees. That's just how it goes sometimes. I should probably say another day, three more jigs lost to the trees because that's actually how it's going today. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Oh goodness. Uh, this is uh, frustrating to say the least. Ooh, let's see, what do we got? Um. You know what? I didn't even realize I had this black and blue jig in here. This one's actually a heavy cover jig, which is gonna be pretty good for me right now. If I'm being completely honest, fishing these tree branches and all that stuff, hopefully it'll help me from getting snag. And I'm gonna say that it's gonna be like first cast snag city and I'm gonna lose it. But hopefully this thing lasts a little bit more than like one or two fish. Oh, don't, don't be snagged. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man. <sighs> oh, what a freaking joke. <laughs> so guys, this is gonna be a ballsy move. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's like a lay down. There's like a big tree that's on this bank right there in the water, but there's really no easy way to fish it from the bank. I actually missed a giant one, probably like a four, four and a half pounder on this thing in the same video. My dad caught those back to back giants on. So I'm gonna try to see if I can zing it through these trees right here. You have a fish. Oh my God, I do have, no, I had one. No, no. Oh my God, I had a fish and it was stuck up in the tree. Dang it. Oh, oh my gosh. I never got a good look at him. I don't know if it was a good fish or not, but sure enough, I popped off right there. Back into the jig box we go. Let's see what I got left. I've been running really thin back here. This one should do the trick right here. I think I can make good use out of this thing. There we go, cleared myself a little room to cast right there. Let's see if I can't get another one off of this thing. Been creating quite a bit of commotion, but hey, still gonna try. At least come back later. Since I broke those branches down, might make a little brush pile right here in this next opening. That'll be good. Maybe some fish will get up on this stuff. Got one more piece. 
never hurts to have a little bit more structure to fish off of. But I'm gonna go ahead and head out of this spot. I have created way too much commotion with all that ruckus. So let's go ahead and put this thing back on here. I can't even get it on. There we go. And hit the next spot. There's one. Oh yeah. Just a squeaker though. Come here, squeaks. There we go. Let me get that hook out of there for you. Little buddy old pal. Got it out and it is time to just go ahead and plop this guy right back in there. <laughs> He's gonna do it for me. He's ready to go. <laughs> oh God, that started getting plucked right away. I think it was a brim though. Ooh, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look, these, these bass are chasing right here. Holy crap, holy crap. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, something, come hit this. Hit this, hit this, hit this. Oh my gosh, they're right underneath us. Come on, come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. Oh my gosh, did y'all see that? Oh no. All those bass were just going crazy after that shad. Holy jeez, man. Oh, that's unfortunate, man. I mean, they're right there in front of you. You see them and they're going crazy, eating like crazy, and they won't touch your bait. Funny how that works. There we go. There's a fish. Oh, right on the outskirts of that little pipe that's in the water that y'all can't see, but there's a big drainage pipe right there and that guy was sitting right on the outside edge of that thing smoked it and there it goes and uh he is pooping himself that's always good but that is a solid little chunky bass not a giant but really really filled out and just thick and juicy for his little size probably getting close to two pounds even though he's probably the size of a one pounder he's just fat man he just he's a chunky little boy let him go well, that about does it for today's bass fishing adventure. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you aren't already. And if you want to go the extra mile, tap that little notification bell as well. But as always, bassing is a passion. Peace out.